Welcome to our second lecture for Phil 102, Critical Thinking and Reasoning. Today we will talk about recognizing arguments. We already learned what an argument is. Uh, we saw that it has premises and a conclusion. Um, we saw that the premise or premises are intended to provide evidence for the conclusion. And we saw that the conclusion is supposed to logically follow from the premises. Arguments include an inference claim. This is an explicit or implicit claim that certain statements provide a certain level of logical support for another statement or statements. So, for example, John is unmarried, therefore John is single. This is an argument. The premise is John is unmarried. The conclusion is John is single. And the inference claim is the word therefore. This is an explicit claim. If it were implicit, the word therefore would not be there. If the author intended this to be an argument, well, then there would be an implicit claim that the fact that John is single follows from the fact that John is unmarried. Let's look at the second example. Most students are under 30 and John is a student. Therefore, John is under 30. As you might have guessed, the premises are most students are under 30 and John is a student. The conclusion is John is under 30. And the indicator or the inference claim is therefore. The word therefore indicates that, there, that the statements most students are under 30 and John is a student provide a certain level of logical support for the statement John is under 30. An inference claim can be identified by indicator words. There are conclusion indicator words and premise indicator words. Some examples of conclusion indicators are therefore, thus, so, hence, consequently. You can find more examples on pages 6 and 7 of your textbook, the third edition. Some premise indicators are because, since, given that, and assuming that. Let's see some indicators in an actual argument. Look at the argument at the bottom of the slide, uh, the current slide. Since they have been found guilty of producing widgets that they knew were faulty and that caused numerous injuries, we should therefore boycott, boycott that company. The, premise, the premises or premises are, they have been found guilty of producing widgets that they knew were faulty and that caused numerous injuries. The conclusion is we should boycott that company. The indicator words are since and therefore. Since indicates the premises, therefore indicates the conclusion. When you see the word since in an argument, you can know that what follows it will be the premise or premises. When you see the word therefore, you will know that the what follows it or what the surrounding context is, is the conclusion. Let's look at another example. Since we take an average of 45,000 car trips over the course of a lifetime, say, stat say statisticians, the chance therefore of being in a serious accident is nearly one in two. What is the premise in this argument? What is the conclusion? And what are the indicator words? What's the premise? Quote, we take an average of 45,000 car trips over the course of a lifetime, unquote. What is the conclusion? The chance of being in a serious accident is nearly one in two. The word therefore in the conclusion should not be there. That's an indicator word, and it's not part of the conclusion. What are the indicator words? The word since and therefore. Since indicates a premise, therefore indicates a conclusion. How about this one? For 100 years, anytime the stock market has lost at least 20% of its value from its highest point in any fiscal year, there has been a recession. 
The current stock market has lost 22% of its value during the last fiscal year. Thus, we are going to have a recession. What are the premises and what is the conclusion? What are the premise slash conclusion indicators? The premises are, for 100 years, anytime the stock market has lost at least 20% of its value from its highest point in any fiscal year, there has been a recession. The current stock market has lost 22% of its value during the last fiscal year. The conclusion is, we are going to have a recession. The premise and conclusion indicators? Well, there's only one, and it's the word thus. That indicates the conclusion we are going to have a recession. Here's a final example. You should buy an iPad instead of a notebook. You should also buy a Honda instead of a Toyota and a Vizio television instead of a Sony. What are the premises and what is the conclusion? What are the premise conclusion indicators? This is actually a trick question since the above passage is not an argument. That's all we have for our lecture on recognizing arguments. If you have any questions, please let me know.